gluten-free cooking show. I'm Rachel Tastic, and today we are going to make cheesy baked veggie bites. Now, before we get started, make sure to preheat your oven to 375 degrees, and let's talk about our ingredients. Today you will need one cup each of broccoli and cauliflower, cooked and chopped, two cloves of minced garlic, three eggs, one and a half cup of grated cheese, and today we are using a mixture of jack and cheddar, three quarters cup of gluten-free breadcrumbs, and one quarter cup of gluten-free flour. We've mixed ours together here, and if you'd like to see our recipe for our gluten-free flour, you can go right here to our video. And lastly, you will need one teaspoon of Italian seasoning, quarter teaspoon of salt, and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Now let's get mixing. The great thing about this recipe is that you can just put everything into one big bowl and mix it all together. You're gonna wanna start with your eggs, your seasoning, and your garlic, and you can use a fork to break up the eggs a little bit. Then just go ahead and add the rest of your ingredients and mix it all up. something like this, you'll notice that it's starting to hold itself together. That'll be because of our eggs and our breadcrumb mixture. We can go ahead and grab ourselves a baking tray, and to make things a little bit easier for scooping, we can also use a measuring cup. Today I'm using a quarter cup measuring cup. We can go ahead and scoop our mixture. You can flatten it with your hand as well to get it nice and shaped. There we go. Give it a good squeeze so it holds itself together. Pop that on your baking tray, and once you have filled up your tray, you can pop them in the oven for 25 minutes. bites. They would make a great side dish for a barbecue or you could make them a little bit smaller and serve them as an appetizer or a snack with a dipping sauce like a marinara or sour cream or if you wanted to get a little bit exotic even a sweet chutney. They're super delicious, nice and cheesy. You almost forget you're even eating vegetables which makes it a great way for big kids and little kids to get some veggies in their diet. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out our other videos and subscribe to me if you'd like to see more gluten-free.